Hi subscribers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be mixing it up. We're going to be talking about how do you get your money outside of your SIP. Uh, we're always talking about investments, doing transfers, what happens in retirement, what happens when you want to draw down money, how easy is it, how fast is it. We'll be covering all of this in today's video, um, so look forward to you staying tuned um, until the end. Um, if you want to have a conversation about an existing SIP, a SIP transfer you're looking to do, or possibly even a QROPS transfer, get in touch below via the link to have a conversation with myself or one of our senior financial advisors. Okay, so. To start off with, number one, you must understand and appreciate that a SIP or a UK pension structure is not the same as a savings deposit account at say Barclays or NatWest. If you wanna take money out of your deposit account, bing bang boom, you can do it online. The money's in your current account, you can spend it the next day. A SIP or a UK pension wrapper, whether it's a QROP, a DC scheme, anything like that, um, effectively, any withdrawals you make have to legally go via HMRC because as you are a member with your pension pot, the first 25% of your pension pot is tax-free, called your pension commencement lump sum. Inside QROPS, this can actually be 30%, depending upon where your QROPS is based. Um, that 25% is tax-free. The remaining 75% is taxed at your marginal tax rate. Now, to go off course slightly here, if you're a non-UK resident, you can apply for an NT tax code. An NT tax code will take anywhere between three to nine months for HMRC to provide you with, it will then mean that you can have gross payments from your um, SIP, normally an international SIP, UK SIPs don't typically allow it, which then means you wouldn't need to claim back um, uh, any tax from HMRC. However, the process still involves HMRC. So say today's Monday, the 1st of January, you email me as a client and say, Dominic, I'd like to withdraw money from my SIP. We would then say, okay, great. But actually what that involves is selling down funds. Now, selling down funds is a piece of advice. Unless you instruct me and say, I wish to sell down my portfolio in equal proportions, et cetera, et cetera. Most clients would just say, I'd like to sell down, I'd like, I'd like 20 grand for withdrawal to do something on the house. So now I have to go back and put together a very quick advice report saying, I advise you to just sell down the, the portfolio proportionately. Or sometimes they might have one fund which has performed really well. So for example, Energy right now has absolutely smashed it. And I'm saying to a few of my clients, well actually, um, Energy at the end of 2022, um, Energy, they might sell down that fund to take the extra good profits from there. So it's a very simple advice report which goes out to you, no more than a couple of pages, but we have to write it and we have to get it sent out to you via DocuSign. So say on Monday, say Dominic, I want to do the withdrawal. Probably by Wednesday, Thursday, we would then have your report signed by you um, and you confirm what you would like to sell down. It can actually happen a lot quicker than that. Uh, that then gets uh, sent over to the, the SIP trustee along with your withdrawal forms. They then have to sell down your underlying funds. It's not like the money's just sitting in your SIP, ready to be sent to your bank account. That would be cash. It's not in cash. It's generally invested in the equity markets. Now, say on the Wednesday or Thursday, if you instruct the SIP to sell down the underlying holdings, it could take three, four, five days for that sale to happen and the funds to be credited to your cash account at your SIP, depending upon um, what the underlying fund is, depending upon what time of day it's submitted. Then once the money arrives inside your cash account, your SIP provider must then do the withdrawal, but have to fire that part through HMRC. So they will send HMRC an electronic ping to say, Clients were drawing 20 grand. What rate of income tax do we need to apply um, to this pension withdrawal? Obviously, if it's coming from your first 25% tax free, there wouldn't be any tax to be applied. But if it's coming from the other 75%, they would need to look at what is your tax code on file with HMRC. If you're earning 150 or 160 grand a year, you will obviously be an additional rate of tax ban. So the HMRC will already have that on file. And obviously that's what you would have to pay um, on any SIP withdrawals. If you don't have any income at all in the United Kingdom, a lot of people looking to take their tax-free allowance each year, circa 12,500 at the moment. It's not as simple as that though, because when you do your first withdrawal, um, your SIP and HMRC will put you on an emergency tax ban, which only gives you one twelfth of your annual allowance in the first month of the year and gradually builds up throughout the course of the year. Either way though, this is a process that must legally go between the SIP and HMRC, and as such takes a number of days for the SIP provider to make sure they're not incorrectly paying you the money. Because imagine if they were to just pay everyone in the UK all of their money as income withdrawal, and then people would have to declare the tax themselves, HMRC would probably never get a lot of that tax. So obviously the system is automated, effectively a bit like a PayYE system um, of when you're employed uh, through your company. So the money then finally arrives, they go through the process for HMRC, 
paying the money out to your bank account can typically take one or two days. Technically, they say it can take up to three to five working days. Generally speaking though, in this day and age, money arrives the same day or the next day. Um, depending if you're living in a foreign country, it can obviously take a little bit longer to arrive. Another important point is to always try to ensure that you're making withdrawals to a GBP denominated bank account. For a lot of our clients in the US, for a lot of our clients in America and in, in Europe, a lot of them might not necessarily have a GBP account. If you send it to your Bank Populaire or your LCL in France, you'll typically be charged a three or 4% commission by the High Street Bank in France to convert your GBP into your Euro, which is the domination of your account. So typically speaking, we would advise clients to use something very simple like a TransferWise account. Set up a TransferWise GBP account online, application, super easy, passport identification to receive that money in GBP and not have um, any exchange rate. So just getting the idea across here guys, it's not a simple bim bam boom. And the first withdrawal always takes a little bit longer. The first withdrawal takes longer because there's a little bit more work and compliance that needs to be done on the SIP side. When you make future withdrawals, it's actually much faster um, and smoother. When we're putting together the initial advice report at the beginning, we will often need to have an updated proof of um, uh, address on file as well, with data within three months. And sometimes your passport might be expired. You might have been working with us for five years. We no longer hold a proof of identity on file for you anymore. So actually, we need to have an up-to-date proof of identity on file to prove that you are who you are and that you are um, <laughs> wanting to uh, withdraw draw the money. A lot of schemes though may ask for proof of your bank account, just a PDF to say, this is my name, this is my account number, obviously again for fraud uh, reasons, to protect yourself from somebody potentially trying to impersonate yourself and make a withdrawal um, uh, from your SIP. Guys, I hope this has been useful. Um, if you're watching this as an existing client and you have any SIP withdrawals uh, that you have coming up, always let us know as soon as possible or whatever financial advisor you're working with, let them know in advance. Say, oh, in six months time, I'm thinking of withdrawing 50 grand or 100 grand. They can then start getting the paperwork ready for you in the background um, to reduce um, the lead time. Guys, I hope this has been valuable. SIP withdrawals, everything you need to know. Take care with UK Pension Assets. I look forward to speaking with you soon.